now. Let's go to Lori Hernandez. We just loved watching her. Oh, she's been so great, you know, and she has that personality, and she's, uh, she, it's just so exciting to watch her. It's her first time, her first year as a senior athlete in an Olympic year, and she has just handled the pressure so well. You won't believe how entertaining her floor exercise is. We're from Madison Koshin, so she makes her first statement of the night, and it's a whopper 15.7 for her, too. Really big number there. One second in. She's going to do a double twisting Yurchenko. She'll leave the horse with full flip. Two twist. Actually, it was good. But she can do a little bit better. She kind of crunched onto the table. You can see her elbows will bend a little bit. And she will close her shoulder angle. When you hit the table, you want your arms to be completely over your head as extended as possible. She's a little bit low here. And because of that, doesn't get the same bounce off the table, the same height in the air. Just want to go back to Madison Koshin. The scores sometimes are difficult to understand ever since they went to the new system. So we've come up with this system. Green, you're good to go. You kept the deductions to a minimum. You start getting into trouble when you're 1.4 to 1.9, and above that, it's a potential meat stopper. Lori Hernandez is a little bit less than she did on night one, 14.8 to 15.05. Oh, where they could hit her a little bit, chest very low on the lean. 16-year-old Lori Hernandez. This is the right year to be turning 16. Little bit off on that. Over on the hands, and you're always looking. Now these are called Tekachevs, and she does three of them. A couple she does from a straddle. Very nice. Because she mixes it up, she's able to capitalize on that. Basically, similar skills. just been rock solid here. Maggie Haney. So here you see she goes from the low bar all the way up to the high bar, swings as high as she can and goes immediately into a Tkachev. Beautiful. And then, as Tim was saying, she has two more of these skills in a pike's position. And then the third one she does in a straddle position. Beautiful. You know, this was very good. This was very good, but I thought she was a little bit better night one. Lori Hernandez, 15.15, not as good as night one by a little bit. And Ali Raceman of 15.5. Back to Lori Hernandez. Don't forget, her floor exercise is awesome, and it's in the next rotation. How do you think she is here? Well, she's actually very good on this event, but this, the balance beam is always a huge test to see if you can perform under pressure. And that is exactly what Marta Caroli is looking for. second in the all-around after night one with Ali Raisman and even Simone said it's, it's good for Lori to know that she's that good and it's great to see her on the top of course you know not beating her <laughs>
Setting up for the dismount right here. Well, that was, I think that was her best performance today. She, she was just absolutely phenomenal in day one everywhere. It was a little bit less great on vaults and on bars today, but look at this right here. Three skills in a row. And look at the knees and the toes. Look at those toes. They are rock solid pointed. Beautiful layout step out. She'll do another one right in a row. Look at she's staring at that beam, slamming the foot down and finishing perfectly. One of my favorite skills. And here's the dismount. So just like Gabby Douglas, she does two back handsprings into a double pike. And again, you want to look for where her chest is on the landing. Oh, definitely low. She'll get some deduction for that. That'll probably be three tenths of a point, even if you stick it in your chest, chest is low. Those dang judges. We go, to the, we go to the uneven bars in Simone Biles and on Lori Hernandez doing her thing in floor exercise, which is fun to watch. <laughs> Great memories there, right, Nastia? Oh, absolutely. Okay, here she is, Lori Hernandez on the floor. Enjoy. And boy, I tell you, she has had just a phenomenal PNG championships. And if you're going to ask me, stock up, stock down, stock way up for Lori Hernandez. This is where she really shines. She puts as much, if not more, energy into the dance. It shows, she says, she gets to play a bunch of different characters. And she was so giddy when she's telling us that. And she says, I'm like an actress. Beautiful. Well, she oh, pulled it off. Done. So this is a very difficult tumbling pass. This Arabian double front, half turn into a double front. And she goes right into a leap very well. Shows a lot of control. A lot of gymnasts, when they do that, kind of look a little bit off. And when we talked to her earlier this week, you know, we were asking about the pressure or the expectation. She was like, you know, I think I'm handling it pretty well. I like the attention a little bit. And she thought about it, and she's like, actually, I love it. 
It was so great when we were talking to her, her coach right there, Maggie Haney, for the first part of our interview, she was videotaping us. You know, I mean, this is, this is all basically new. She said, we never talked about the Olympics until about seven months ago, ever. Andrea told me that when she and her coach came here for the junior championship when she was in this building, they forgot to bring a second Leo. Here's Gabby Douglas. Make a mistake. Oh my God, that was Yes, it your thoughts. I mean, I think it, you see the green for her score. Her maximum scores is pretty high. And I mean, I think there was a little bit, the deductions were a little bit high, but some of her landings weren't exactly stuck. And you know, she could clean it up a little bit. But I mean, overall, it was just so impressive. I don't think it's rewarded well enough for artistry, though. You know, I mean, I there, there are components in there that are required for artistry, and she goes above and well beyond. Just the slight deduction on that hop. In my opinion, she has shown full readiness here in St. Louis. Both days, just really, really a great job. And what Marta Caroli likes so much is she talks about it. Let's try again. Always consistency, consistency, and Allie is the model of consistency. Allie just told Lori, I think we should tie again. <laughs> <laughs> She's certainly good for morale. Watch this. <laughs> people say Simone is hyper. Nice, Allie. But other people say Lori is way more hyper. So much that together. <laughs> and Allie Raisman is going to retake. Yes. Sorry. Okay. 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 That is unbelievable. In the middle of winning a national championship, she can pick out Sean Johnson and wink at her? Well, a potential star here is Lori Hernandez, the 16-year-old dazzling us with her floor exercise that is just loaded with artistry. Here she is with Andrea Joyce. A deep field here, Al, as you know, of Olympic and world champions. Lori, what does this tell you about where you are and how much closer do you think you are to your Olympic dream? Um, I think the fact that I've been working so hard day in and day out at the gym has really paid off here and it shows me that I can really keep up with these guys and help the team and God willing Rio. Well, you belong with that group clearly. So you got a wow this week from Marta for your floor routine. What is it like to get a wow from Marta? Um, that makes me really happy. That makes me feel like she sees my efforts and everything and <laughs> wow. <laughs> It makes you a little speechless, right? Congratulations. We will see you at trials. Thank you so much. All right, Al. And the trial's coming up in two weeks from San Jose. Okay, closing thoughts here. Uh, she's a beauty, by the way. Oh, absolutely. I mean, she is such an up-and-comer. Up she is just joyful to watch and really, really has something that you just are born with. You know, she is a performer, and it really shows. You think we see her in Rio? Got a feeling? I think so. You know, she had an amazing two days of competition. So really what she needs to do at trials is have two more solid days of competition. And in my opinion, it will be hard to leave her off that team. All right, so Tim, let's talk about the trials. 